Arc flash labels typically follow a consistent design, but feature different information on each label. The DuraSuite labeling software can keep track of all this information for you, but entering the data by hand could take a long time. That's why DuraSuite allows you to import this information from a spreadsheet. First, you'll need to organize your spreadsheet so DuraSuite can use it. DuraSuite can work with information in the common XLS, MDB, and CSV spreadsheet formats. Next, organize the information into columns. One column might have the equipment name, the next column might show its nominal voltage, and so on. DuraSuite will read each row of information as being about a single piece of equipment. We recommend using the first row for column headers to help make the process easier. For the itemized list of Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, DuraSuite uses a checkbox system. Each piece of PPE that may be needed should have its own column. If a given piece of electrical equipment requires that piece of PPE, mark an X in that column, or leave the cell blank if that PPE is not required. Once your spreadsheet is complete, save it. Now you're ready to import that data. Open DuraSuite's ArcFlash labeling module. You'll see a blank label or one of your existing saved labels. Click the Import button in the toolbar to start the importing process. Choose your spreadsheet's file type. This will open a file browsing window where you can locate and select your spreadsheet file. You will be asked if the first row are column headers. In the next screen, you'll see a sample label with blank boxes for each piece of information. On the right, you'll see a list of your column headers, or if you haven't used column headers, you'll see letters for each column of data. All you need to do here is drag each column header, or identifying letter, from that list on the right over to the blank box for where that information should go. Any spaces that you don't have columns for can be left blank. You can also type information directly into the blank boxes if the same information should appear on each label in this batch. This is especially helpful for the project field, which is how DuraSuite organizes your ArcFlash records. Once you've placed the information where it belongs, click Next to review your data and make sure DuraSuite is pulling the information correctly. Use the arrows to cycle through the different labels in the batch. Finally, click Next again to have the program check for any conflicts and import your data. Once your data has been imported, you can search through the records, sort them by project, and print the labels that you need.